Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to Let's Talk Football with your boy Lord Melo. Welcome back to a brand new video. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, press the notification bell for all the future drops. We're back with another one, man. Club football is back and I know a lot of y'all are excited about that. Well, I am. I'm pretty excited about what's going on that's what's coming through this weekend. Well, before we get into that, I want to touch on international football a bit. Before we, we, we get into the weekend, right? Because I usually don't do international breaks. So I'm just going to touch up on Bafana and all that. Bafana, Bafana, let's get into that. Bafana played two games during this international break. Sorry. We played against Congo, right? And, well... The first game we played at home and then the second game we played away. The first game we played, we won 5-0, right? Playing at home. Great performance from the boys. Was really impressed by the way we moved the ball. The confidence of the players, like moving the ball around, finding the spaces. Which is the, which is the kind of football that I'm pretty sure like most of us South Africans want to, want, want to see from our national team, right? We saw Tebza bringing in a very top performance in that first game, scoring a brace, and a, a lot of a lot of players stood out in that game. And then we played the away game, which we played to a one-one draw, which was very disappointing to a point. But I'll give our play, our players the benefit of the doubt because of we were playing at a very a very bad pitch. It was artificial pitch and it was very bad. The ball the ball wasn't moving as much as we wanted to move. So we couldn't play the way we want to play. And there's a couple of players that are disappointed in the second game. But overall, man, we got four points out of the two games. We are second in our group. And yeah, man, we, we, we're looking good for, for, for qualification for, for the AFCON, right? But I was hoping that we could win the away game so we can wrap up the qualification so we can qualify for AFCON. But we're still close because we're still second in our group. We just need to win our next game and then we're done. We're going through to 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 to, to Morocco next year. Still on international football, Mr. Audi TT, Mr. Thomas Tuchel is the new head coach of the English national team. Thomas was appointed was appointed as uh, as the manager of, of England and was given like he was given an 18 months 18 month 18 months contract excuse me 18 months contract which will begin the 1st of january 2025 i think that, that, that that's a good appointment for for england they appointed like, a, a winning coach firstly thomas knows how to win he has the experience at the highest level even though it's his first job at, at, at international level but Club football, he, he, he's won and we have seen him perform at the highest level. So with the players England has, I think I think he, he's going to build a crazy team, man. He's going to build a crazy team. Because most mo, mo, most English, in, English supporters were complaining about they have quality players going forward, but they're not utilized the way they should. And I think Thomas can unlock that. The previous manager played a quite defensive style of play. He, he, Southgate, Southgate w w w w wouldn't mind to put in to put in like five five defenders in in, in the lineup, right? Which I think Thomas will utilize Boko Palmer, you know, Bo 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 Bo, Bo Phil Foden in, in a better way. Well. Uh, Shout out to, to Thomas, man. One thing that makes me happy about this is that now we, we know that he he is not going to Manchester United, which I was a bit worried about as a Chelsea fan. I didn't want Thomas to go to, to, to United. But hey, man. Shout out to that. And from there, guys, I think we should move on to, 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 to club football. Let's move on to what's going on this weekend. This weekend, we have, you know, we have a, a big game on Sunday. Liverpool versus Chelsea. But before we get to that, let's start with, with other teams. Man City. Man City plays, 
plays Wolverhampton this weekend. And City City struggle playing away at Wolves. If I'm not mistaken, the past three games they played, they really struggled playing there. But Wolves this season look like they concede a lot more goals defensively. And I think Man City can capitalize upon, uh, on that. Not forgetting that Man City are missing a couple of key players. Rodri, which we know won't be playing like throughout the season. Kevin De Bruyne, not even sure when he's going to be back. But they, they, they have they have a boost of Nathan Ag. Nathan Ag might be playing this weekend. He might be returning from injury. But overall, I think we all expect City to win. But based on history, City struggles at Wolves. More especially after international break. After the international break, most most teams struggle Vela. But hey man, I think City might be too strong for, for Wolves. But don't, don't, don't rule out a shocker because Wolves might shock us playing at home. Arsenal. Arsenal play Bournemouth. Arsenal playing, I think they're playing at home. I think they're playing at home. Let me just check. I think they're playing at home. Okay, they're playing away. Okay, Arsenal is also playing an away game. So basically, the top, the top. Okay, it's only Liverpool that's playing at home. Well, Chelsea, City, Arsenal. Well, out of the top four, three teams are playing away, and only one team is playing at home. So it's gonna be a very tricky weekend for for most teams. Arsenal will be out, will, will, will be without Martin Odegaard, which we know he might be out for the for for the whole season as well. But I don't, I don't see Bournemouth giving Arsenal any problems. Might be a tough game because they're playing at home and Arsenal are the away the away team. But hey, man, I I I I'm saying Arsenal straight win. Arsenal they 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 they're like a point behind Liverpool. It's like Arsenal and Arsenal and Man City are a point each behind Liverpool, and it's Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea are three points behind, right? Yeah, I think Chelsea are three points behind. Yeah, Chelsea are three points behind behind Liverpool, and then it's 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 a it's a point for 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 City and Arsenal. But overall, man, I'm thinking Arsenal is gonna win that game. Let's move on to the big game of the weekend. The big game of the weekend we have Liverpool versus Chelsea. At Anfield, hey, mm, mm, mm. it's been a while Chelsea playing this good. It's been a while where us Chelsea fans are very confident with our team, and us going to Liverpool, I, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be a very balanced game because Liverpool is not the Liverpool of Jurgen Klopp. As much as they they're still performing, they're still performing well. They still have those top players that they they usually have. They don't have much injuries, not not in that I know of. I don't think they have major injuries in their starting lineup. So most of their players will be there. But hey man, this Chelsea team, this Chelsea team so far has shown us that they, they can play, right? We, we we can see the way Maraska wants to play. We can see the, the players are adapting to the style of play. And I I I'd like to think that the players are enjoying the way we're playing right now because we're playing at attacking football. But I think the problem is gonna be it's gonna be the pace that Liverpool's gonna come with. As much as we we also have pace up front, but a bit I'm, I'm a bit worried about the defense because we concede we concede a lot of goals. So if we if we can strength we can strengthen our defense, I think we can have a good game. But overall, I think we can go to 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 with Liverpool, right? I'm just a bit worried with our left back position. Marco Correla will not be playing this weekend because of suspension, right? Because of the yellow cards. So I think we're gonna have Ronaldo Vega in the left back. Centre backs, I think we're gonna go for Kowal uh, and for Fana because they've been the centre back, the centre back pairing uh, uh, in the Premier League, right? And then 
right back Malo Gusto, he is fit, he can play. We also have Rhys James back from injury. I don't think he's gonna start, and I think if he, he should start, I think that's gonna be a big mistake because he's he hasn't played much football. And for him to come out, to come in, in 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 such a big game, I think it's gonna be a problem. I, I would rather have Malo Gusto start in, in right back. Maybe Rhys James will play the last 10 minutes if he does play, because I don't think I don't think match fitness wise he's there. So I, I wouldn't risk playing him in this in this kind of game. But we'll see what Magaska does. But uh, well, I'm expecting we'll have Malo Gusto in, in, in the right back. Uh, Renato Vega replacing uh, Kukurela in the left back with Colwell and, 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 and Fofana in the centre backs, right? Midfield, I think from the midfield going forward, I, th I don't think much is going to change. We still, I think we're still going to have Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez. And, and 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 Palmer playing as a 10. I, I hope Sancho starts. Sancho on, on, on the left. Uh, Nuni Madweka on the right. But with Madweka, right? And I get m most supporters are, 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 frust are frustrated, which, which they are rightfully so to be with, with Nuni Madweka. His performances have has been good. He's been, he's been performing very good, but the problem is his selfishness. He's too selfish, man. There's there's some instances in the previous games where he could have just cut back to to to, to his teammate. He, he, he could make better better decisions in the final third, right? But I'd still play him in in the right side on the right side. Ahead of ahead of uh, ahead of Petro Neto, which could be either or. Even if Neto starts, I, I wouldn't mind because so far he's been playing well. He's adapting very good to the team. But I go with, with Noni and then up front Jackson. But the problem I have with Jackson, right? He's having he's been having good performances, but he's not consistent worth taking his chances and that's gonna be a problem like throughout the season if he if, if we're gonna keep playing him up front i don't mind him playing up front because of because of he gives us more besides besides trying to score goals right he can hold the ball he can play one twos with players around him but that's still i i i, I, I personally would start Nkungu. i still rate Nkungu above Jackson, but I don't expect much changes for for Chelsea. I just hope that we tighten up our defense, and then, man, yeah, we, we can take on Liverpool. We can take on Liverpool, and then maybe possibly get away with, with with three points. But hey, man, it's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a tough game. That's a big game for the weekend, and then from the Premier League, we move we move to La Liga. La Liga. The biggest game this weekend, I think, in La Liga is, is Barca versus Sevilla, right? Good news for Barca. Most of the injured players are coming back. Well, I, I think our midfield right now will be complete after this international break. Because be, before we went to the international break, uh, uh, um, Dion was back. Frankie Dion was back. And he got a, he got a couple of minutes I'm not sure if he's going to start today. If it was up to me, I wouldn't start here. We have Daniel Olmo coming back from injury. We have Femin coming back from injury. We're just waiting on, on, on Gavi. Might be getting his green light sometime in the coming weeks. So the midfield for Barcelona will be complete in the coming weeks. Uh, probably probably when, when, when we play the Classico in, in, in like... Two weeks to come, I think. We'll have a full a full squad. Well, tomorrow's game, man. There were a bit doubts, uh, some doubts for 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 Yamal and and Lewandowski because they they got a couple of knocks in the international break, playing for the for for, for their national teams. But reports coming out say coming out from 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 the medical team of Barcelona say that. The players are okay and they might start. 
So I think with that, we're gonna have a very good, a good team going forward. Not much is gonna change for Barcelona. I expect Barca to win. I expect four plus goals for Barca. We're playing at home straight after after the international break. Most of our players have been rested. We don't have any injuries coming out of the international break, which is a good thing because most of the time we, we get players getting injured during the international break. So this 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 is some good news. And then moving on to local news. Local locally we have the the the, the Kali Knockout Cup happening this weekend. The big teams, all big teams are playing this weekend. We have Bas uh uh, uh Chiefs playing against Super Sport. We have Orlando Paris playing against Magesi and and Mamelodi Sundowns playing against Golden Arrows. On Mamelodi Sundowns side, I'm hoping. Okay, okay. I just wanna touch on this. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, before I talk about that player, Tembazon. Let's start with Tembazon. Tembazon is injured and might be out for the whole season. He got injured in 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 the game against Congo when we played away. In the one one draw, and we could see after he, he went off, Bafana Bafana dropped a bit. We couldn't control the game. I think the game we we actually lost the day in the midfield after Azwani went off. We just couldn't ho get hold of the ball. We we kept losing balls unnecessarily. But hey, man, Mshishi is out, and apparently it might be for like the whole season. It's very worrying for for my middle son. As much as we haven't been using him in in, in 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 the beginning of the season, but the the whole idea was the coach was managing his minutes because of his age and him being this this older. He, he there are there are high chances that he might get injured. So Coach Manova was managing that. I think he was actually saving him for for. For Champions League games, right? I think he was gonna use him more in in the Champions League. He's got. I think he was gonna play more against African teams, right? Or the big games, as we put it that way. But since Mushishi is injured, Sundowns has 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 squad depth, so I, I think we can we can handle that. We we, we can replace as much as. We can all agree Tembazone is irreplaceable, right? But I think we have enough quality to have somebody that's going to do the job in the midfield. Tebza, this is the player I wanted to talk about. We saw Tebza when uh, performing very well in the national team, right? And him not playing uh, at club level. And it, it wasn't because of the injury. It was, about, it was because of disciplinary problems, right? I don't know if... If y'all saw before we played Polokwane City in, in the MTN eight, our first our first game in the MTN eight, there were there was a, a, a pre match po, a, a pre match interview right conference a, a pre match conference where where it was Tebza and and, and Coach Manoba they representing Mamelodi Sundowns and. There was attitude there wa was not good. Instead of being professional, he kept on doing some 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 funny gestures there on the video. If you saw it, you, you saw that there's something not right there. And then he he played poorly in the first in that game in that game against Polokwan. His performance was poor. Not even sure he, he played the first leg right. Yeah, he played the first leg against against Talon Bosch. The performance was pop. Well, if you if you go to my to my previous videos where where, where I, I I made I made the, the 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 match review, I was very disappointed about the the, the 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 body language. I was very disappointed about the attitude of him, and not just him. Like some of the players, it was him and Mudau were frozen out from the team. Sailor, we saw him come back when we played against Kids the Chiefs, and I'm hoping Debza will be back. This weekend, because Debs is a key player, man. We need him in the pitch. We we need him in the right state of mind. We need him to play the way we know that he can play. So I hope everything behind the scenes is resolved, and we'll see that we'll play football again. And in closing, before I close, guys, 
before I close and closing, the GOAT. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi has won an award. Uh, Mecca, Mecca, Mecca gave, uh, awarded Messi with the greatest of all time award. They rated him above Ronaldo, Pele, Maradona, Crave, I think. I'll put it up. You'll, you'll check it out. So, Lionel Messi has been crowned the greatest football of greatest footballer of all time which we all know that Messi has we all we've all been saying Messi is the goat highly to Ronaldo fans but we know man until Ronaldo wins the World Cup well besides even the World Cup even if Ronaldo wins the World Cup he's not getting close to eight ball and and just on the pitch man Messi's just just another player man it's is is hey man, unbelievable bro just scored a hat trick, no, in the in 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 the international break for Argentina, scored a, a hat trick during the week with two assists on top of that. So Messi man is just another player man. Well, uh, with that, that's how we close. Shout out to everybody that's been watching. Shout out to you if you got to the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, press the notification bell for all the future drops. And yeah, man, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Let's enjoy the football for the weekend. And I'll see you on Monday for the weekend review. Shout out to you. And we out.